everyone, this is Sasha, aka Your Frugal Friend, and in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to find and use in Insight Factory's magic button. This is something that has been there all along, but I was just alerted by the owner of Insight Factory that this exists because I was asking for additional information about the data that is provided to me. So if you don't know me, I am a top 1% seller on Etsy in the digital product space, and I love to help sellers just like you make more money selling digital products. I have courses and I have products. Um, you can go ahead and join my email list if you want more helpful tips. I love to help people like you make more money with awesome information like I'm going to be sharing with you today. Okay, so what is Insight Factory? So Insight Factory is one of my favorite Etsy keyword research tools. I've extensively tested the data from so many keyword research tools and Insight Factory and E-Rank are my two favorites. I use them together to do my keyword research and I'll tell you why once I dive into what I'm going to be showing you. So when you get to Insight Factory's main landing page, you get here and I click on Etsy keyword tool to see to show you what I'm going to be looking for. And so within the Etsy keyword search, you would just type in what you're looking for. I'm going to be looking for a word scramble because that may be something I'm interested in making. So I see here that with the output, I get the product, the seven day sales history, the last sale when, it, when they got a sale, how many views they've had, how many favorites, the release date of the product and their tags. So the reason why I like Insight Factory's data is because they give you the seven day sales history. But, but there's a lot more that I want from that. Sometimes I want more data than just the last sale or the seven day sales history and that's when the secret button comes in handy. So the reason why I like the seven day sales data is because I like to know what products are selling today, like right now at this point in time during the year. This helps you to understand what people are buying and you can start to gather information to see what kind of products are selling the most at this point in time. So right now, this baby shower word scramble is one of the top sellers for the long tail keyword word scramble on Etsy. Then it's another baby shower game. Looks like another baby shower game. And then it's a bridal shower, another bridal shower baby. So lots of baby and bridal shower games. And then a birthday one is selling a little bit. So that helps me to understand what kind of products are selling using the long tail keyword word scramble. So if I want more information about the sales history, then that's when the, ma the magic button comes in use. So where is the magic button? Well, it's this blue button next to the last sale. So we have today in this blue button, click on that and it's gonna give you a lot more information. So what it's gonna give you is it's going to give you not just the stats that are shown on this page, but stats that are kind of behind the scenes. So we have the information that there's been 575 sales in the last 154 days. 154 days is the amount of days since the product was released on February 20th, 2023. And so if we look at the data on that, just to get a running average of how many sales they've had every day, um, then we see divide by 154 days. We have 3.7, um, like around, a, uh, four sales per day of this product. And why that information is useful to me is because I'm seeing that this product consistently sells all the time. And that's extremely useful for me because I like to create products that make money year round, if possible. That's an evergreen product. I also do make seasonal content, but the more evergreen products in my shop, the more revenue I get on a continuous basis. And I like to make sure I'm getting a consistent flow of income from my Etsy shop. So a product like this and knowing that all the subsequent products that are selling really well using the long-term key well, keywords, word scramble, that's useful. But then it also gives you this information, this uh, uh, Insight Factory observed the listing on the first page of search results for the following keywords. And we can see in the tags, they're not using all of these keywords, but Etsy is showing people who type in, you know, baby shower bingo. They're showing them this word scramble because they know this product sells well and they know that a baby shower bingo game is also um, another game that people play at baby shower. Same with the word scramble. So they're trying to get people to buy something related to baby shower games. And so, I mean, there's tons of ideas here. You can see that also a Spanish version of a game for a baby shower is a thing. So you can make a word scramble in Spanish and that could be a niche product for this 
for this particular baby shower game niche. And you might have never even thought of that. So then we have baby shower blessing. So you're like, oh my gosh, that could be another thing that I that I can sell related to. Maybe you have a baby shower product line in your shop. So wishes for baby boy, people are looking for that. Wishes for baby girl, um, word search baby shower game. All of these are ideas that you can use for your Etsy shop. So you can you know click on wishes for baby boy and then you can see additional data and see well, is this selling right now? Are people buying this? And then you can go, okay, make a decision. This is a product that I want to create for my Etsy shop. So the seven day sales, this wishes for baby boy has sold 18 times, but of course you want to make sure that's not a physical product, but you can see here that looks like this is the same seller, wishes for baby boy, $3 and 99 cents for one single product is selling well. So to me, I'd go, okay, I'm going to create a baby shower game or baby shower product line, digital products line, and I'm gonna see what the ingredients are to make this product based on that magic um, button from Insight Factory. So I see that this is a editable template. So people are wanting this to be editable and I wanna see, you know, how is this editable? What are they edit editing it in? Looks like it's one where they can do the try before they buy. So like in template, so it's template. So they have a template account to make these edible templates. But they're selling this for a high enough price point to where having template to sell these products is totally worth it. They it also looks like they got um, mock-ups that they've used that are, it looks almost like wedding mock-ups of some kind for like wedding invitations. And they're just using that to make it look more elegant. The perceived value of it is very important. So you're just looking at these and you go, okay, well, I have a template account. I want to get into the baby shower editable game niche so I can compete with this person and create a product that I know will sell well and I'll just make the aesthetic different. I'll do it in my own flavor of baby shower um, games or well wishes or whatever it is. And that's all because you had that secret button data from Insight Factory. So if you're a user of Insight Factory, I hope that this video has helped you to know that there's a lot more data at your fingertips that maybe you weren't aware of. And I look forward to seeing how you use this tool.